All right, welcome back to another Smart Architect tutorial. In this tutorial, I want us to take a further look at one of the informational settings here in our BIM model. BIM, remember, meaning building information modeling. So it's very important for us to set up some of the project settings. Specifically, we're going to take a look at the Revit location setting in this tutorial. So let's just jump right in and get started. I'm going to use a project for reference on this one. So once again, you'll see I want to just show you this particular project site. Um, I want to show it to you here in Google Earth, first of all, just to put this project into context for us. So you'll see here is actually my project site. I'm zooming in on it right here. So my project site for here, this is the existing building and we're doing some additions here. And so I just want to walk you through how I'm setting those location settings up in Revit. All right, so let's jump into Revit here. And I want to come up to my Manage tab and we're going to look at the Project Location palette. And I'm gonna click on Location, first of all. And to explain this Location, Weather, and Site menu, First of all, on the Location tab, we're using Internet Mapping Service. And if I type in Harrisburg, PA, and just hit Search, that will go ahead and set the project address to this regional location of Harrisburg. And you'll see that I do want to explain this Define Location By. There is another option. So if you're working on a project that does not have a specific address yet, like you're just looking at the feasibility of maybe even doing a project in a particular region or area, you can use the default city list and you'll see that you can actually put in many different cities. And if you're dealing with anywhere that's in the developed world, this list is constantly being expanded uh, in Revit because it's based on Microsoft Bing right now. And you'll see that the, li the listing is huge and it will actually update the latitude and longitude to that particular area. And what it's doing is finding a weather station. So now that I'm clicking on the weather tab, I'm gonna hit the check mark for use the closest weather station. And you'll see how this comes into play as we continue to move forward in these tutorials. And I'll put a link as the mechanical HVAC portion of the energy modeling is done, you'll see that preliminary data is taken from that region. So these are important settings for us to set up initially. And then lastly is the site. And you'll see if you go back to the project north versus true north, you can see that here I can actually apply an angle to make sure that this is set up properly as well. Many times this is done through coordination with the civil engineer. So they'll give us that and that's how we're able to define true north versus what I'm using as project north. So I'm gonna hit okay here and that will have set that up. So that is setting up the Revit project location here in Revit and I do want to very quickly show you how that impacts one of our 3D views. So let's go ahead and take a look at this view specifically and then we'll come back to it. If I come up here to sun settings, you'll see that it's very important for when I use a still image, then it's using my location setting. So this is very important that this is where that location setting comes back to benefit the project as we have better information. So when I start to use any of these other settings, uh, the lighting setting is used by default, but these other settings allow us to make sure that our solar studies are going to be accurate. And that's gonna be important as we move ahead. This has been another Smart Architect tutorial on the Revit project location. And remember guys to set these, these little settings up in the backgrounds. I know this is a basic tutorial, but it will become important when you want to have accurate BIM data that your model's based on. All right, thanks a lot. Make sure you subscribe to the Smart Architect tutorials if you haven't already.